Let's understand shifting cultivation. So shifting cultivation is very very interesting. Let's say I have one parcel of land. Now what happens is I had the crop here. Now this parcel of land becomes unfertile, infertile. There is lack of nutrients that are present in the soil. So what we do is we simply burn that parcel of land and leave it barren for a while. Now over the years it would regain its fertility. Till that time we switch to a next land parcel and we start our activities there. Now this shifting cultivation is also known as slash and burn cultivation. So shifting cultivation as the name suggests is slash and burn. As we said you would uh, burn first of the land parcels and move to the la next land parcels. It is commonly seen among tribals and primitive people. What happens is when you are leaving the land barren, there can be erosional activities that could occur and these erosional activities could further erode away the essential nutrients and there can be extensive leaching of the soil that could take place leading to further infertility. Uh, also, since it is being developed and used by primitive people, handheld tools like machets are the only ways that are being used. The common crops that are grown uh, under shifting cultivation is rice, maize, banana, tapioca and uh, what would happen once this piece of land is all consumed. Now since these, this piece of land is all consumed, this would go barren, again this would be burned and go barren and the previous land that was there would now become fertile. Now. Uh, this land parcel which was left for two to three years would be used again because this land parcel is now better fertile. Now what are the regions across the world where you have shifting cultivation that is commonly seen? Amazon basin in South America, then you have Zair basin in the Africa region, Indonesia, Malaysia, in India we have Northeast India, uh, parts of Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya where you have shifting cultivation that is seen. Now interestingly shifting cultivation is known by different names in different parts of the world. For example in the region of Mexico it is known as Milpa. In the region of Brazil it is known as Roca. So these are the names for the shifting cultivation the common names as they are called as. In the region of Central America it is known as Masol. Okay uh, similarly in the region of uh, Myanmar this is the region where you have Tongwa is the common name. In the region of Sri Lanka, this is Chena. In the region of Indonesia, it is known as Ladang. In the region of Philippines, this is known as Kengin. So there are different names. In the regions of Thailand, uh, it is known as Tamrai. In the region of Vietnam, this is known as Ray. So there are various names under which these regions are known. Similarly, in the regions of Venezuela, it is known as Konoko. So those are the various names for shifting cultivation across the globe. But this is not just common to the world scenario. In India itself, we have uh, shifting cultivation named differently in different parts of the region. For example, Northeast India, we call it Zoom, uh, Zoom cultivation. In the regions of uh, Bundelkhand, we call it Vevar. In the regions of Bastar district, we call it Deepa. In the regions of Rajasthan, it is known as Batra. In the regions of uh, Andhra Pradesh, it is known as Podu. In the regions of Western Ghats of Kerala, it is known as Kumari. And then you have the regions of Odisha where it is known by different names like Kaman, Vinga or Diva. So those are some of the common names under which we have uh, the various names for shifting cultivation. Similarly, the southern states, it is also known as Zara or Erka. Those are the names for the shifting cultivation practices in India. Now different tribes have their own common name, the local names that they call. But this was an introduction about shifting cultivation, one of the most primitive ways of cultivation mainly followed by the tribal populations in India and worldwide. We would be covering many more interesting cl uh, classes and lectures related to agriculture. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.